This video will introduce the necessary operations and settings for your first use of D-Fluid Omix. Remove your D-Fluid Omix and accessories from the package. Omix comes with four containers, labeled A, B, C, and D, at the bottom. Please refer to this table for the specific use of each container. When starting up and measuring, make sure Omix is on a relatively flat surface. Before each startup, the empty container A must be placed in the sample base before pressing the power button to boot up. In the top right corner, you can see the battery levels of the main unit and the sample base. The number above, 99, indicates the battery level of the main unit, while the number below, 100, indicates the battery level of the sample holder. Swipe right on the main screen to access the operation list. Tap Test to select specific sample items to test. Tap Calibration to choose the items you want to calibrate. This section allows you to view test history up to 1000 records. Lastly, there is the Settings page. Let's first look at the settings related to testing. Sample type identification can be set to automatic or manual. If Measure Environment is enabled, every time you tap Test, Omix will automatically begin measuring the current environmental temperature, humidity, and altitude. Automatic testing of water activity is disabled by default. When disabled, placing a sample and pressing test will not automatically start water activity testing. Roast is where you can select common roasting standards. You can also set the intensity of silver skin detection with the maximum intensity being 5. At this level, the silver skin will be excluded from the final color value result. When set to 0, the silver skin's color value will be included in the final color value result. The temperature unit is set to Celsius by default. Tap General to choose whether to enable or disable the Bluetooth function. You can also set the duration for auto power off, language, and screen brightness. Click Device Information to view the SN code and the current version number. Scan this QR code to download the DFluid Cafe app. Users who already have the app can scan this QR code to connect their device with the app. Swipe left on the main screen to view the last historical record. Pull down further to see all historical records. Container A must be initialized before use. While Omix is turned off, place the empty container A into the sample base, cover it with the main unit, and press the power button to turn it on. This step initializes the container before measuring moisture content and density. If not correctly initialized, the moisture content and density values may be inaccurate. In addition to the automatic initialization during startup, you can also manually initialize. While Omix is on, place the empty container A into the sample base, swipe right on the main screen, tap Calibration, and then click Initialize Container. Next, take container D, place it into the sample base, cover it with the main unit, tap Calibration, and then tap Moisture Content and Actron Value to perform the Moisture Content Calibration. Calibration complete. Place the sample into container A, ensuring that the surface of the beans is level with the edge of the container. Use the included ruler to gently press and level the sample, but do not compress it too hard. Make sure that sample type is set to auto detect. If not, please manually choose the sample type before starting the test. Cover the sample with the main unit and lightly press the button or touch the screen to begin testing. The mesh number, current environmental temperature, humidity, pressure, and altitude results are displayed simultaneously. This density result is the bulk density. Tap on the test result to view the estimated true density. Estimated density simulates the true density using the water displacement method. This record will be saved, and you can click on the target data to view detailed information at any time. After use, clean the sample container and any residue inside the main unit with the included brush. Residue may affect the accuracy of future measurements. After testing wet samples, rinse the cylinder with water and dry. Do not use abrasive materials like steel wool to clean the cylinder or main unit. When there is a significant change in ambient temperature, it is recommended to wait at least 10 minutes before use. For example, when moving from outdoors into an air-conditioned room where there is a large temperature difference between indoors and outdoors. For first-time use, you must first prepare a saturated saline solution for calibration. 
You can also purchase 100% saturated saline online. For repeated tests, it is recommended to wait 30 seconds between each test. Calibration frequency, it is recommended to calibrate once daily before use, and especially when there is a significant change in ambient temperature. Take out the supplied bottle from the package. Add regular table salt up to this marked line, then add purified water up to this marked line. Shake the liquid in the bottle until the salt no longer dissolves. It's better if there is some sediment left, indicating full saturation. Then, place it out of direct sunlight for one hour before use. Pour the whole bottle into the container B. It doesn't matter if undissolved salt particles go in as well. As long as the surface of the sample container is covered, place the cylinder into the sample base, cover it with the main unit, and wait for two minutes. This step is to allow the saline and the device to reach thermal equilibrium. Click calibration and then water activity. This process takes about 30 seconds. The water activity of saturated saline is fixed at around 0.75. After calibration, you can verify accuracy by checking if the water activity value of the saturated saline is around 0.75. It is important to note that when the ambient temperature changes significantly, you must recalibrate using saturated saline before testing. Make sure that sample type is set to automatic. If not selected, please manually choose the sample type before starting the test. Place the sample into container A, ensuring that the surface of the beans is level with the edge of the container. Use the included ruler to gently press and level the beans, but do not compress them too hard. Cover them with the main unit, tap, test, and then tap, water activity test. This process takes about 30 seconds. Tap the X in the middle to stop testing at any time. Click on the test results to confirm the mirror temperature of the machine and the test sample. This record will be saved, and you can tap on the target data to view detailed information at any time. After use, clean the sample container and the residue inside the main unit with the brush. Residue may affect the accuracy of future measurements. After testing wet samples, you can rinse the container with water and dry it. Do not use abrasive materials like steel wool to clean the container and the main unit. For the first use, you need to perform a color value calibration. Place the empty container A into the sample base, then tap the power button to turn on the main unit, and remove container A. Take container D and place it into the sample base, cover with the main unit, tap calibration, and then tap moisture color and actron value to perform the color value calibration. Calibration is complete. Ensure that the sample type is set to auto detect. If it is not selected, please manually choose the sample type before starting the test. When the sample is in powder form, use container C. When the sample is roasted beans, use container B. Ensure the surface of the beans is level with the edge of the container. Gently press with the included ruler to level, but do not compress. Cover with the main unit, tap measurement, then tap roast degree. Tap the detection result to view the details, including the standard used, and the proportion of various roast levels of this sample. Scroll down to see a more intuitive histogram, with the average representing the overall roast level. Standard deviation, the larger the value of the standard deviation, the greater the data dispersion, and vice versa. These two charts represent the performance of histograms under two different standard deviations. The larger the standard deviation, the greater the range of values at the bottom. After use, clean any residue in the container and the main unit with the included brush. Residuals may affect the accuracy of future measurements. After testing wet samples, you can rinse the container with water and dry it. Do not use steel wool or other hard materials to clean the container and the main unit. There are several ways to download the app. You can scan the QR code on the card in the package, or search for D-Fluid Cafe in the App Store or Play Store and download it directly. Before connecting, check if Bluetooth is enabled on the device. Tap General and enable Bluetooth. Make sure the phone's location services and Bluetooth are turned on. With both the app and the device turned on, the app will automatically detect your device and display a pop-up. Tap Connect to establish the connection. If the connection pop-up does not appear, you can tap this icon to search and connect.
You can also go to the personal homepage, tap Bluetooth, manually search for the device name, and tap to connect.